Everybody doing? I want to start off by saying that Coach O'Connell is the best coach in the world. <laughs> Shout out, Coach. Sorry. Coaches. Uh, Dallas, just uh, what's the biggest thing that you have learned through from the moment that you got here to uh, right now? Uh, really just learning how to be a Minnesota Viking right now, you know, just being uh, the best professional I could possibly be. But, uh, you know, really just getting acclimated, you know, to being in Minnesota, you know, being around the guys, you know, a very good group of guys and stuff like that, you know. But, you know, just learning new, learning new stuff every day. So, What do you want to do with this time off? Uh, between camp, you know, probably uh, still train and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, definitely go out and just experience new things, like go on vacation, something like that, you know, go to a place new. So, yeah. What did you learn just from veterans about how to structure this time off? Uh, really just um, how to, just the day-to-day -day stuff, like, you know, being around guys like John B. and our, you know, Pat Jones, uh, Van Ginkle and stuff like that. You know, um, they taught me a lot, you know, just watching them and how they approach things day-to-day, -day, you know, kind of, um, you know, Gave me my own way of how to approach things in my own way and stuff like that too. But you know, just being around a, a great group of vets like that, you know, uh, plays a big contrib contribution into what I'm have going on. So, Christian, um, Christian Darius said you put a spin move on somebody that uh, <laughs> was faster than he'd seen uh, in a while. Is that your signature move, or is that just something that happened? I mean, it was it, it was kind of just a reaction. You know, uh, appreciate it, CD yeah. for that comment. Yeah. You know, but you know, CD, real good tackle for sure. You know, my first day going against him, you know, I kind of seen what. But he was light for him, yeah. but you know, he, he liked that for sure. I ain't gonna lie to you. Both, both of them, Dio yeah. and um, CD. Yeah. Do you know which side that was on? Was that um, the one he was referring to? Or do you know which one he was referring to? I, for, like, I, I forgot who I did the move yeah. on, though, but I, I remember doing it, though, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it was a while ago. Just, what is the biggest thing you've taken from Jonathan Grenard so far, a guy who's obviously done it in the league? Oh, man, you know, JG, man, that's, it's, a, it's, it's real ironic how we both on the same team because when I was in high school, um, I was going to end up at the University of Florida because of him and um, a guy named Coach Grantham. So, uh, you know, just watching him, you know, and watching how he played in college from now, even last year, you know, I used to watch him a lot at the Texans with Will. But, you know, just being around him every single day, you know, we, we hold each other accountable. You know, he pushes me every day. You know, I, he kind of took that role, you know, of taking me under his wing, you know, and just showing me the ropes and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm very grateful and appreciative of having him in my room for sure. Why, why were you going to go to Florida because of him? Just because you nah, like it's cause I No, it's because really I was, you know, Florida guy, Florida boy, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I was in like the 10th grade, too, at yeah. the time. And um, I was a I was a JG fan at the time. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I used to watch him, and he's he's the ball out. And so, you know, um, you know, I like the way he played. Me and him played the same way in the way. Okay. And so, you know, if we got the click very good, you know, while we up here too. So, you know, that's that's that, that's that's big bro for sure. Okay. Oh yes, for sure. Yeah, you know the um, the workload from Alabama to. Uh, to the NFL in general, you know, it's just it's it's definitely a, a transition, but it's a <laughs> it's a good transition for sure with the work, with the workload and stuff like that, and how intense things are. But you know, I feel like it's more of a technical thing and stuff like that at the NFL level, and like really understanding of what you're doing and like the technique that you're doing, and it's really more technical. But um, you know, it's uh, it, it, I got a lot of great record at Alabama too. You know, it got me here, so you know, I'm real tired. So. What's been the most surprising part of being in the NFL now? Um, the most surprising part, in my opinion, is probably like you know everybody. Everybody's just human. You know, everybody's regular people. You know, um, you hear the NFL, you think you guys dudes are like you know uh, super dudes and stuff like that. You know, everybody all serious, but like you know people are regular people. You know, they laugh, smile, joke, and just like us. So um, you know, but everybody got personality too. So you know, it's not just football at the end of the day. A lot of veterans have sang your praises already. What does that do for your confidence? I mean, you know, uh, it, it boosts the confidence, of, uh, of course. You know. Knowing that your peers are, you know, um, acknowledging you and stuff like that. But you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, you still got to work. You know, we ain't even put pads on yet, so you know, I can't really say I did anything. You know, I'm just staying humble right now. You know, I ain't even play a game yet, so you know, um, there's still a lot more work to do. You know, it's still a lot more proving to do and stuff like that. But you know, I'm definitely excited for what the future holds and for what me and my guys are gonna do this season. So, sure. appreciate y'all. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you.